what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can back up your PS4 games that are already installed to your PS4 how you can back up those on your USB hard drive and how you can save those games on your PC for future preference just to keep them safe so I'm going to show you from start to finish using one of my own PS4 games and using my portable hard drive as well so let's go ahead and get started so what we need for this is your portable hard drive your portable USB hard drive so this is mine right here it's a 2 terabyte and remember that your hard drive should be formatted in FAT32 or XFAT also inside my hard drive is the Minecraft game that I'll be using so let's go ahead and eject the USB hard drive and head over to the PS4 okay so now that I am on the PS4 as you can see there is no game installed whatsoever so let's go over and enable the exploit to install the Minecraft so go up to settings go to user guide user guide again and this is my payload so I'll just choose whichever firmware I am using I am using the 5.05 .05, so choose that and I'll enable hand okay hand is enabled so press the PS button go back up to settings go all the way down debug settings game in package installer and here is the minecraft so install your game okay so go back out to the main screen now and as you can see our minecraft is right here now go up to settings again go up to user guide user guide choose your firmware and let's go over to app to USB press X keep in mind do not unplug your USB drive while this is is in fact depending on how many games you have it will take a while and as you can see it found my game that I just installed and it's gonna copy it over to the USB and as you can see it says it's completed do not remove your hard drive if it does not say complete so now that it's complete let's go back out to the main screen and let's remove the portable hard drive and now I will try and start the game and you will see that I get an error message so let's try starting the game and as you can see it says that we can't start cannot start the application data might be corrupted so if I install if I connect the hard drive again okay if I try starting the game now the game will work okay so let me show you how you can back up these games on your computer now so remove the hard drive from your PS4 and plug it to your PC and as you can see we now have a folder that says PS4 we didn't have this the first time so we can go ahead and delete the Minecraft game that we have so inside the PS4 folder you have the game folder update folder and you have this up to USB right here you can go ahead and save both of these if they have 
update you can save the update folder if not you can leave the update folder but inside the game folder right here you'll find icons and all those things but the main one you want to look for and the main one you want to keep is the pkg right here this one is the game pkg that we just backed up so you can just copy it and save it wherever on your computer for future preference so let's go back let's unplug the hard drive and go back over to the ps4 okay so now i'm on the ps4 as you can see if i try to start the game I'll get an error message. Can I start the application? Now let's plug the hard drive back to the PS4 and you could you will see that I can now start the game again. So wait until your hard drive is recognized by the PS4. Once it's recognized, you can go ahead and start the game. And as you can see, there we go, we can now play the game again. So it's very simple and this is a very useful um, application to have because you can now back up your games and save a lot of space on your PS4 but remember guys that the game needs to be installed first then you can back it up on your USB hard drive then play it from your USB hard drive so keep in mind guys that game has to be installed first before you can back it up to your USB hard drive okay so if anyone found this video helpful please leave a like and also share the video and also subscribe for more video to come thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one